Oh. Hello friends, this is Luke with the Yoga School. In this module, we're going to be discussing karma yoga and social justice as it relates to yoga practice. You might think, what does practicing yoga have to do with social justice? It actually has a lot to do with it. In fact, Mohandas or Mahatma Gandhi was the greatest influence in our American civil rights movement. The precepts of Ashtanga Yoga, the Yamas and Niyamas, start off with Ahimsa, which is non-violence. They are followed up by Satya, which is truth. Gandhi's movement, or his followers, were called Satyagrahis. They practiced Satyagraha, which is the pursuit of truth. Isn't yoga the pursuit of truth? Some yoga practitioners do asana and vinyasa and different thing, things for their own benefit. But if we look at the science as a whole and what it's trying to achieve, there's no doubt that there are social implications. It may arrive at these goals for social justice through independent or personal means. For example, when we go to look at the world and we see all the violence that's out there, we probably, as yogis, want to start with ourselves. But we also don't want to turn a, blind, turn a blind eye to our responsibilities to other people. Gandhi once said that a human being as flesh is violent, but as spirit is nonviolent. The practice of yoga as laid out in the Yoga Sutras is unquestionably a pursuit of the nonviolent spiritual aspect of a human being. As a result, we are naturally going to be involved in social justice because if there is an injustice that is happening, if there is violence happening and we are there and we have the ability to change what's happening, to be a part of a social change, it would not be very yogic of us to turn a blind eye and not be a part of that. I look forward to sharing this wonderful topic with you. Oh.